Hey, 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 how's it going? Well, we got another awesome robot back in review. Today, we got the A-Person A200. Despite its small size, it has no problem pushing its way through objects so it can clean every nook and cranny. And of course, it had a qualm with Sparkles and didn't care for the magical unicorn. Well, maybe Sparkles called the robot vacuum small and he didn't like that. Okay, so I let this little guy run for about 50 minutes and I came back, I had no clue where this little guy went. I guess this little guy decided that he didn't want to stay in this little area and he decided to go on his own adventure. Well, this little guy is very determined and he just kept trying and trying. Eventually, he was able to push free and get through my Christmas tree. I don't know how he did it. I thought this globe would block him, but due to his small size, he was able to maneuver around it. So definitely make sure you block off this area or this guy will find a way to escape. Well, setup is as easy as 1, 2, 3. Place docking station, plug in docking station, place robot, make sure the robot's on, and you're good to go. Okay, let's go ahead and set up the cleaning challenge and we'll see how well the A-Person A200 does. Okay, you didn't just see me uh, start the robot vacuum manually. Yes, this robot vacuum does not have a handheld remote, nor does it have app control. Well, the first thing I observed was this robot vacuum has no problem kind of bumping into these objects. Uh, one thing I noticed is that there's no infrared sensors all across the robot. There's only in just strategic places. So the world vacuum does have some blind spots and it may bump into objects a little bit harder than it should, but luckily it didn't cause any damage. So that's just something to consider. Uh, this world vacuum will do its best to reach every nook and cranny. And you'll see at the end of this video how this world vacuum was able to escape without any problems. And it's also able to uh, vacuum my shag rug. Yes, it's quite amazing what this little guy can do. Well, if you're worried about this world vacuum getting stuck, don't fret. This guy has a free move technology, which allows it to literally get over everything. Also, it can easily push objects three or four times its size, and it has no problem Giante's rubber bats, and also different types of thresholds. Well, on this channel, I have reviewed a bunch of high-end robot vacuums and some budget-friendly ones like this one. And I can show you that I've done a lot of different models, probably more than I count. But I will promise you that I can count more than 10, so it's definitely more than 10 robot vacuums I reviewed on this channel. Well, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys prefer raw vacuums that are more aggressive, or do you want ones that don't bump into objects and kind of go around them? Well, growing up as a kid, I always been a big fan of magical unicorns, and I guess I'm reliving my uh, youth again. I get to play with cool raw vacuums on this channel, and I combine some magical unicorns. Yes, craziness. All right, so I guess the A person didn't have the same mindset and it didn't care for sparkles or the magical unicorn, so he was able to take him out within the first five minutes of this challenge. As a disclaimer, no magical unicorns will harm in this video, these are all paid actors. I just want to give a huge shout out to all you guys, each and every one of you. You're like a second family to me, you guys are awesome, we've been engaging in the comments section, been liking my videos, even the people that dislike. I really appreciate all you guys, you guys are just one awesome community. It's been awesome being able to work with you guys, be able to share my experience and talk about cool world facts and even other tech products. And if you're watching this video during the holidays, well, happy holidays. Okay, so I want to give a shout out to a person. They reached out to me and gave me this product to review. So I really do appreciate this. There's a lot of great companies I worked for. And I will try to announce all my partnerships. So I disclose that on this channel. All right, let's talk about some of the cons of this robot vacuum. Uh, keep in mind that this robot vacuum doesn't have a spinning extractor bar. It just relies on suction only. Uh, it has an inlet port. So the benefit of an inlet port is there's no uh, pet hair to get wrapped around. But the biggest downside is it really limits the type of uh, flooring that this robot vacuum can uh, clean up. So this robot vacuum is only designed for smooth surfaces like tile or hardwood floors. Also, it's designed for like really low profile carpet. Off to the right there is like my medium profile carpet. And it didn't do it very well picking up any of the dirt and debris. Also near the uh, roller mat, you can see there's a lot of uh, material left. I really think it could use like a dual side brush system. So it's able to get dirt and debris from the left and right side of the robot. So that's the next thing is the side brush does scatter debris around. Hopefully they can uh, slow it down in the next model. This robot vacuum is about as basic as you can get. Uh, you may notice that it's a random based pattern and you can't change the cleaning pattern on some budget robot vacuums. Also, this guy doesn't have included handheld remote. Uh, you just have a single button up top. So you press it once to tell it to start the robot. Press again to stop it. Also, if you double press it, it will return back to home. So this is some of the basic specs is this guy has 1500 pascals of suction. It's a single power mode. Also, you get about 100 minutes of battery life. So it's fairly long for this small type of vacuum. So basically put this guy in a small area, maybe in a single room, and it should do fine. Now you may notice that this guy has the free move technology. Has no problem getting on to different types of obstacles. And this is one of the few world vacuums that are actually able to get on top of my shag rug. And actually move around freely without any issues. 
So you may want to keep that included cable tie because you do have to keep your uh, cables wrapped up. There's no way to wrap up the cables around a docking station. Also, there's a nice little storage area for the cleaning tool. But it's kind of ironic that this thing includes a cleaning tool even though there's no extractor bar. But I guess you can use this to kind of wipe down your robot or something. So if you're a person that's looking for a budget friendly robot vacuum, maybe it's your first robot vacuum and you don't want to spend a lot, well the 8 person is not a bad option. Now keep in mind that this is designed for smooth surfaces, also with the random pattern it's designed for smaller homes, uh, maybe a single bedroom or even just like a dormitory. I was impressed with the dustbin size at 600ml, this is larger than most robot vacuums that's even larger than this and I felt like it was easy to empty out. I do like the little flap that helps prevent the dirt and debris from scattering. Now keep in mind that you can't wash the filter, you do have to kind of suck it out but the dustbin itself is washable so make sure you remove the filter. Okay, so that's a look at the A-Person A200. The design itself is pretty simple. You do have that physical power switch, so you can turn the roll of vacuum off if you're not using it for a long time. Also, you have the rear exhaust, which I found like didn't scatter debris around, so good job on that. There's those three infrared sensors. Now, you may know that there's no physical bump sensor, so it does rely on those uh, three infrared sensors. Well, what do you guys think about the A-Person A200? Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up because it really does help out this video. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nathan. This channel is called World Masters. I do a lot of head-to-head -head challenges with World Vacuums. I do reviews, unboxings. All right, see you later.